All right, we're doing a video here on the graphing calculator all about the second trace menu. So I have a random quadratic. I haven't even graphed this yet. I just picked numbers out of a hat. Negative 5x squared plus 3x minus 20. And I'm going to zoom 6, zoom standard, see what that does for me. So I'm waiting to see if I see any graph. I don't see any graph. So if I have no idea what to do, I can always just go back to zoom and zoom out option three but for me I'm just gonna try to change that window manually so I'm gonna go maybe like 20 and 20 and graph still not seeing anything so let's go like negative 100 and 100 for both the X and the Y I'll count by tens Again, I have no idea. This is me just trying to figure out what to do, looking for the graph, seeing where it is. So hopefully something will show up when I do negative 100 to 100. I see it's all below the x-axis. So I'm going to try to maybe zoom in a little bit on that, where my y values don't really need to be above zero, and my x values can definitely be... Uh, change a little bit so I'm gonna go back to window maybe I go negative 40 to 40 for my x values and how about I change that y min to something like or that y max to something like zero and let's see what that does for us that ah, looks better something I can work with okay so I go second trace values the first one so if I hit value it's gonna say X equals I can plug in any X value that is part of my window so like say I want to know what 30 point when X is 30.5 that's the Y value when X is 30.5 now if I go back to second calc value and I am negative 40 to 40 so say I do something like X equals 80 it's gonna give me an invalid error the only reason that that's invalid is because my window is not big enough and it can't calculate that for me Okay, so do something that is big enough, x equals 0, y equals negative 20. Okay, that's value. 0. 0 is an option if it crosses the x-axis. Now, my graph doesn't cross the x-axis, so I can't go left bound, right bound. So that option doesn't work for this graph. Minimum or maximum, you have to look and say, well, this graph has a maximum, so I'm going to do maximum. So left bound means anywhere to the left of that maximum point. Put your cursor, hit enter. Right bound means move anywhere to the right of that maximum point. Hit enter. Guess, please guess for me. This maximum point is 0.299999983. Y is negative 19.55. All right, so we found that maximum, sorry. And uh, next option that we're going to use potentially would be second calc intersect well for an intersect I need more than one graph so let's just I'm just gonna throw a random uh, just a regular old line on my paper like or on my graph like negative 3x minus 20 graph that thing alright so if I want to do intersect I'm gonna do second calc option 5 is intersect it's just going to ask me which equations does it want me to use. So first curve means Y1. Is that what you want to use? If you weren't using Y1, you could scroll down and Y2 could be your first curve. But Y1, yeah, that's good. Y2 is my second curve, so that's the second equation. Guess, yes, please. So they intersect at 0, negative 20. Now they might intersect more than one place. So now if I do this again, I want to scroll to where I think I'd be closer to the second intersection, like maybe right there. First curve, yes. Second curve, yes. Guess, please. My other intersection point would be 1.2, negative 23.6. Uh, I hope this helps.